to this video. Uh, today we are going to talk about MD4 algorithm. MD4 is a hash function which digests an arbitrary length message to a fixed length bit values which has um, 128 bits. And um, uh, this algorithm is developed by Ronald Drivers in 1990. Uh, it's a pretty classic hash function. Um, but um, actually this algorithm is totally broken by several attacks and uh, we we don't want to use it in real life but we still want to talk about it because this algorithm laid the foundation for several popular hash functions like um, uh, the SHA-1, the MD5 and also the uh, RIPE-MD algorithm. Uh, so let's see how this algorithm works. Uh, first, we're gonna do some initialization. Suppose we have a message which has b bits and we write it as m0, m1 until mb-1. And the first step, we're gonna do some padding. So we um, add the 1 bit and uh, several 0 bit after the message. Now the message becomes b prime bits. Well, b prime is equal to 448 modulo 512. And then the second step, we we also do some padding, but this time we add um, 64 bits uh, as b0, b1, and until b63 after the message and uh, this 64-bit b0, b1 until b63 is actually the 64-bit uh, representation of b. Well, b is the length of the original message. Like, um, yeah. And now the next step, we're gonna divide the result to uh, n words as and capital M zero, capital M one until capital M and minus one. Well, and here is a multiple of sixteen. And um, on the next step, we need to use a uh, four uh, MD buffers A, B, C, D. Each of them is a thirty-two bit register. And here we initialize each of them as these values here. And also we're gonna save these initial values as A0, B0, C0, and D0. Now we have done all the initialization. Let's see how we're gonna use these buffers to process the message here. And um, the process will be like this. So we're gonna need 48 rounds of processing and um, this 48 rounds is actually um, consists of um, 16, uh, three 16 rounds and um, for all these rounds they have the similar process but with different um, details like we set the parameters differently and use different functions. Uh, let's see the first 16 rounds. Um, and uh, like this is the uh, one round of the 16 rounds. So for the um, for this round, we have the four buffers A, B, C, D. And uh, first, we're gonna use a function f here to take B, C, D as the input and uh, get the result, and then XOR it with the um, value in buffer A, and then we XOR it with the message mi and then we XOR it with the constant ki here and get the results and here we need to shift the result by s bits to the left and now we get this value here and we put it in the register b and well the register the values in b will um, shift it to C and the value in C will shift it to D and the value in D will shift it to A and then we're gonna start another round of these uh, calculations and uh, so 
we will run 16 rounds of this operation and let's see the details first the function f here it will be work like this actually it's um, uh, the result will be uh, if if b is true and then we choose c uh, else we're gonna choose d and so and for each round we will use the message m i as uh, uh, from m0 to m15 in these 16 rounds and uh, also in here we set the constant k as 0 in all these 16 rounds which means we don't need this x or operation here actually and um, for each round we shift the result by s and s is set to different values for each round and uh, that's for the first 16 round, 16 rounds and for the six for the next 16 rounds we're going to use different function f and uh, we also xor the message uh, in different order and uh, the constant k here will not be zero it will be in this number and also we gonna shift the um, result differently by these numbers and um, uh, for the next 16 rounds we also use different functions and uh, set different parameters and after these 40, 48 rounds we're gonna have the result uh, in a b c d and um, the next we're gonna compute a as a plus uh, a zero and uh, oh, we do the same to b c d which means we add the initial value to the result uh, after the 48 rounds so finally we will output this result a b c d as the mm, digest of the original message so that's all that's how we uh, how the r the md4 algorithm works and in the future videos we're gonna talk more about other hash functions uh, like the um, uh, sha algorithm and also the ripe md algorithms so thanks for watching Thank you.